everyone, it's Sucker here. I'm back with another video for you guys. We're here at the Hoosick Tunnel. When we got here, before I started to set up and everything, the maintenance people came here and then they drove into the actual tunnel. So if you guys see the little lights in there, that's not because of a train this time. That's because the maintenance people went through the tunnel. <laughs> They're out fixing something. Also, there's a lot of bugs today. So if you see any like orbs and stuff like that, it's not paranormal. It's most likely like the bugs and I've been spying them away from me like the whole time I've been here. Anyway, I will show you guys the maintenance truck now. So that was the maintenance truck. I hope you guys find that interesting. There's also a lot of butterflies out today too. So I, I got some like photos. But, but the main point of this is so I'm going to go at least a little bit about the history. They actually fully finished it in 1875. I could be getting some stuff wrong because it's hard to remember because I don't have my notebook with me. And I don't, I think I lost all the notes related to the Hoosick Tunnel, honestly. So during when this tunnel was being built, that was when they started actually using nitroglycerin for explosives and it caused a lot of deaths, floods, fires, mostly people died of explosions because a lot of people were blowing people up and then people kept also getting trapped in the elevators at the lower level and it was hard. I'm sorry if I'm like getting everything mixed up. It's, it's been a while. I don't talk about the history of here much and I was, again, as I said before, I lost all my notes. Also, this railroad tunnel is said to be haunted. So if you guys haven't seen my older videos, if you guys want like better parts of the history, go watch those videos because I just want to show you guys this. I don't know if we're actually going to go inside the tunnel, but we also might, so we'll see. I also know that my outfit is kind of weird today. I just felt like doing something different today and I'm over here with like my hiking boots. So I wanted you guys to know that this place is big on history. The one thing I do remember when this tunnel was being built, this was like one of the first projects where they tried out nitroglycerin and that is a very heavy explosive. So a lot of people got blown up during the making of this tunnel. The only part here that is haunted would be the inside of the actual tunnel. Mostly the center of the tunnel. So the most haunted location possibly that you would get the most to investigate would be the central shaft. But it's hard to get to because of how long this railroad tunnel is. This railroad tunnel is like more than like a mile actually. It's it's extremely long. Because it goes from, so like we're here in Florida, Massachusetts right now. The other end is all the way in North Adams, Massachusetts. And I know that I, I got that part wrong every single time that I've done a video here. We're literally very close to North Adams. So my brain thinks that we're in North Adams, but we're actually also near the town of Rowie, Massachusetts, which also has a very cool history. Also never do this. Never Never walk on the live railroad. I do it because I'm an idiot. There are a lot of trains that do come through here, like freight trains. The difference is some s trains come slow and then some come really fast. So don't always just like hang out here. Just because I do it just doesn't mean that you guys can do it too. Don't do it. I'm not paranormal investigating this location today because I don't have a spirit box. So the chance of getting anything is zero, but this railroad tunnel is kind of weird. So I want to show you as an example. So like, you see how it's all flooded right here? Whatever you guys do, never step on like this side. Also, if you do walk into the tunnel, right, move away from the train. If you again, if you hop on this side, right, you're possibly gonna fall through. There's already holes, so just be careful. Like if you're gonna hop over, make sure that you're near the wall of the tunnel in general. But this place is interesting. The Hoosack Tunnel is a mystery. Because a lot of people say that there's people who have gone missing in here. Like a lot of it's alleged, honestly, because a lot of the locals just like to scare people. Honestly, some people do, some people don't. It's funny. This place is so beautiful and from what you can see, which is hard to see on camera, is the cool architecture of the tunnel itself. And then further you go in, there's there's more brick and everything too, which is quite interesting. Because instead of it being just like the rock from like the mountain top up there, it's it, like there's there's a lot of like brick structures and stuff like that. So it's just it's very, very interesting. So I know you guys love this place and you guys like it when I come here to do videos. Again, I'm sorry if there's no investigation here. I j I don't know when the last time a train has come through. That's another reason, because we got here at like 12, so 
There's probably going to be one at like one or two, but like I'm also wearing my uh, bathing suit under my clothes, so I want to go swimming because it's nice out. It's, it's a beautiful day to go swimming too. So we will show you that in the next part of this video, and I hope you guys do enjoy this video. And also, again, it's hard to get like orbs here because a lot of it is just bugs. It literally is just bugs. And we're gonna go back that way. There's flies everywhere today, like they're everywhere. So as you guys can see, the beautiful architecture of the Kuzak Tunnel. There was a mural here from like around like the first few times that I've came to the Huzak Tunnel and it's gone now because I think somebody tried to remove it, I believe. I don't remember really what happened. I really love this area in Massachusetts. I live like an hour away from this place, so I'm able to come here a lot or often in the summer. And like, again, this place is just so beautiful. I also want to show you guys, never do what I'm doing. I'm just crossing. Where they started with the bore machine was literally like right here. You guys can't really see because of the foliage, but... Well, not only that, but like the lighting kind of sucks, but you see where, where that pole is? Yeah, that's where they tried to start the tunnel, but it wasn't working out. But really, look at this. This is a beautiful, beautiful area. I love this place in Massachusetts. At some point in my life, I do want to live in this area because like this is mostly all countryside and I've lived in a city all my life, so that's just terrifying. And then also when a train comes through, you really do not have like that much room over there. I want to show you guys this really quickly. So this is Deerfield River down there. That is Deerfield River. A lot of people come here to go tubing. I don't blame them because the waters are so nice. This ain't safe at all. And I think I just walked into the spiderweb. Oh shit, I don't like this at all. I hate heights. <laughs> I hate heights. Look at that. I'm literally walking on this and it's coming out. This is not the best decision of my life. Look at that. Jesus Christ. That's not safe. Also in this area of mass, there's a shit ton of like black widow spiders, which you will see all around here, and that is a pigeon. <laughs> that is a pigeon. Hi, buddy. I just made a best friend today. And then you can see the drop from like right here. I'm normally scared of this because I hate heights so much. But yeah, this, the, all of this right here is Deerfield River. All of this is Deerfield River. There goes the pigeon. There goes Bob. He didn't want to be next to me, I guess. Well, thank you, Bob. But yeah, I love this place. This is so picturesque. I love the Mohawk Trail so much. That's not safe either, and I just noticed this. So I'll see you guys in the next part of the video. Even though it's cloudy, I can't look up because I'm going to start crying. Yeah! Hey everyone, happy summer. We are here at the river that I said that we we're going to be swimming in. It is a little chilly, so we're not going to be fully swimming in here, but this is a beautiful spot in the summer to go swimming. And I love this place so much. I like to come here in, in the summertime because I like to come here and I like to collect rocks. I have my wet shoes on. I'll show you guys everything that I've like collected in a second. You dare me to sit down in the water? Oh my god, this is going to be so cold. It's so cool. Oh my god, I almost slipped off the rock. This is like the perfect spot right here. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, I have a turn turquoise piece. Hey everyone, I'm back. I wanted to show you guys everything that I collected and then the turquoise piece. I'm going to go back to see if I can find another one. I couldn't while I was over there, but sometimes it's hard to see. This is all what I got recently, but we have a big pile right next to my mom, and then I also got this. What's oh that God. big white thing over there? Huh? What's that big white thing right by that big rock? It looks like there's a gully in it. Oh, right here? Yes, that rock right there. This this is legit turquoise. And then I have like a lighter one because there's different tones of turquoise actually. I got this from the river. And I had to dig this one out by the way. This thing is huge. Oh my. Oh my gosh. But because I have this one and then you guys saw the tiny one earlier. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was fun to make. I will literally come back here another day. Also, if you guys didn't know, there's, there's a family of ducks over there. But I'll see you guys in the next adventure. Peace out, guys.